Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to talk about two apps that are frequently compared with each other and that is Notion and Obsidian. And we're going to be analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of each one so that if you're wondering which app is better for you, this could be a great resource. So let's dive right in. We first wanted to discuss what exactly is Notion and what exactly is Obsidian. So Notion is a single space where you can think, write, and plan, capture thoughts, manage projects, or even run an entire company and do it exactly the way you want. So it's basically a tool that allows you to mold it and customize it into whatever you want. And you can make anything from habit trackers to project management templates with Notion. Obsidian, on the other hand, is a private and flexible writing app that adapts to the way you think. And Obsidian is designed in a way to be an excellent note-taking app and a sort of second brain where you can really store all of your notes and thoughts in one place. So let's go back to Notion and now we want to discuss Notion's strengths. So the biggest strength with Notion is its database system. And what this means is that if we type slash database, we can make a table view database like this and you can add your data entries in here with properties such as tags, dates, and so on. And you can use that same data to show it in different views such as board view, timeline view, calendar, list, and gallery. And this allows you to really create many different kinds of tools from things that are similar to spreadsheets all the way to a calendar and into a timeline. So it's really adaptable and it's really interesting the way that you can display your data inside Notion. So this database is definitely a feature that is really unique with Notion. And you can display it alongside just simple text like this over here. And the next thing we wanted to talk about is this block based system inside pages. So if you notice when you hover, you'll see these six dots on each line and these are block handles. So you can actually just drag these around and move it everywhere. And it's just really intuitive and easy to use with this block based system inside pages. And if you, for example, type slash column, you can then make two columns which have these two blocks on either side and you could just drag it into this block here, for example. So this is really nice and really easy to use in Notion. But if we go over to Obsidian, you'll notice that it's really hard to drag anything in Obsidian. So it's not really designed to be this tool where you can move around your text inside the page. And you really need to know keyboard shortcuts in order to be able to customize your layout inside of a note page. The next thing we want to talk about is easy online collaboration and free sync across devices. So the free plan in Notion already includes the possibility for online collaboration and you can sync it across devices. And this is really strong in Notion because it only works as a online tool. So it really is designed to be a collaborative tool and a tool which works always online. And you can even share a link to your Notion page publicly in the free plan as well. But with Obsidian, it's not quite the same. So the biggest strength of Obsidian is the fact that it is meant to be a private app. But if you do decide that you want it to be online or syncable across devices, you can pay extra with its add-ons, which has Obsidian Sync and Obsidian Publish. But since these are add-ons, it's clearly not the main thing that Obsidian is going for because with Notion, it's all included and it works without having to pay extra. And the final Notion strength that we want to mention is that Notion is clearly easier to use for beginners if you want to do things like habit tracking, book tracking, and so on. So if you want to go beyond note taking, Notion is clearly easier to use and you can easily make a table by typing slash and you get all of these commands here that you can use and it's just way easier and intuitive to use Notion. But if we go to Obsidian and you want to do anything more than just writing on a page, you actually really need to know the various keyboard shortcuts. So it's much 
harder to use Obsidian if you want to go beyond just taking regular notes. So if we just type slash, we don't get any kind of help here. So Notion is clearly easier to use. Now let's go over Obsidian strengths. So one of the biggest strengths that we like about Obsidian is the offline notes. So all your notes are stored in your computer and you don't need an internet connection in order to use Obsidian. And this is huge because with Notion, there really isn't an option right now to use Notion offline. So let's say that you're in an airplane without Wi-Fi and you really need to write some notes down and you really cannot do that with Notion. So you'd have to wait until you're back and in Wi-Fi in order to add your information to your Notion pages. But with Obsidian, it's basically just a note-taking app. So you can just type whatever you want into your Obsidian and not have to worry about Wi-Fi or internet connection. And the next huge strength with Obsidian is that you can visualize a linked view of your notes. So what you can do with notes is that you can do this double bracket and then you can link it to various other notes. So let's say we link it to note-taking apps. And when we do that, we can actually see this note connected to note-taking apps on our visualized graph. So if we open graph view over here, you can see all of these notes that are connected to other notes in these notes. And this is just really cool because you can see sort of how your mind works. And in a way, this is a true second brain in that you can see how things connect with each other and start discovering different connections. The next thing we wanted to talk about is customizability. So Notion, obviously, you can customize a lot, especially since it has databases and you can move it around with this block-based system. But actually, Obsidian in some ways has more customizability because you can change things like color using codes. And if we go to, for example, appearance, you can change your accent color really manually like this. But with Notion, you're stuck with Notion's color scheme. So let's say we have text here and we highlight it and we wanted to change colors. This is the only colors you can choose from in Notion. So Notion really limits the style that it's going for. But with Obsidian, you can change your base color scheme, accent color, themes, and there's also community themes and fonts and so on. So it's way more versatile in that way. But with Notion, you only have three different fonts here. So it really limits it so that it can maintain this look that Notion has. But Obsidian is okay with you customizing it exactly the way you want it. And next, we wanted to go to community plugins. And this is huge because if you want to do more with Obsidian, it's completely possible because of all of these community plugins. So if we go to this gear icon and we go to community plugins, you can really find a lot of plugins to do various things using Obsidian. And this is really useful so that you can add really cool features to your Obsidian. And there's people who make book trackers and habit trackers and everything you might imagine that Notion would do really well. You can also do in Obsidian as well. You just need to add these kind of plugins, which makes it a little bit harder to use. But in the end, it's totally possible in Obsidian. So those are our comparisons about Obsidian and Notion. And if you're interested in getting started with either of them, we have made videos for beginners with Notion and beginners for Obsidian. So be sure to check those out. We'll leave the link to that in the description below. Let us know if you have any comments, questions, or anything that was confusing about this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.